Hi everyone, I'm Lee White Purvis, and this is Vent. Okay, first story. Now, if you've been reading my Facebook page, you would know that at the moment there is a group of miners in New Zealand who are currently trapped on the ground in a collapsed coal mine. The first thing that everyone's probably thinking is, oh yeah, this is probably another Chile. No, it's not. Chile at least did not have the safety concerns that this the New Zealand mine has as we speak. Now, the reason why this is not another Chile is because the mine, called the Pipe, called the Pipe River Mine, is actually a coal mine, which means dangerous gases, um, possible um, unsupported rock because of coal's um, very fragile nature. So, as a result, you're looking at a hundred times as much danger as there was in Chile. So, while um, speed and safety are key here, they are more paramount now than they were with Chile. Now, saying that, um, that, mean, that doesn't mean that this hasn't been fraught with um, problems. Like, at the moment, um, one of the robots that they are using to check the danger has malfunctioned due to a water drop, and um, the drilling of a shaft, of a second shaft, in order to be able to do any testing, has actually hit quite literally bedrock. Right? So, at, so at the moment, things are at a virtual standstill, and everyone's getting a little bit panicky, and I can understand that. Um, I'll keep an eye on the progress of this through the vent Facebook page and through here, and hopefully when the rescue does occur, I'll be able to report on it. Okay, our second story comes from Cambodia, and um, it, it actually involves the one of the national one of the national Cambodian festivals. Now, what's happened is Stampede at the festival itself has claimed the lives of 347 celebrators, and there's another 410 that have been injured as well. Now, um, authorities at Cambodia are actually considering it the greatest tragedy, well, the biggest tragedy since the Khmer Rouge. And that, working off the information I've got here, was pretty damn bloody. Alright, it actually annihilated a quarter of the then population. No one knows what actually triggered the stampede. Um, apparently there's word that it was an unstable bridge. And yeah, with nowhere to run, of course what happens? It's going to take a while before um, they can actually formally identify the 347 dead. Uh, but it is a great tragedy, and I wish to pass on my sympathies to the families of those who feel they may have lost um, family members in the stampede. My heart's go out to you. Okay, now time again for news from my phone. And, the new and this one's definitely for the uh, Star Wars geeks out there. And... It involves the original Darth Vader costume, and I mean the actual, well, an actual Darth Vader costume, the ones that were used in the Star Wars movies. The Darth Vader costume is actually being auctioned off in London today, and it's proposed that it's going to go for a quarter of a million dollars Australian, which is about the same in US. The costume is actually from The Empire Strikes Back, which is um, movie number five, I think it is. Now, the Darth Vader costume's being put up for auction alongside um, other movie memorabilia like Superman pants, uh, Supergirl dress, and these are from the movies, and a 
gun used by Sean Connery in the From Russia With Love adverts. So, yeah, this is destined to be a well, high-priced auction. But they say, but they say that the Darth Vader costume is going probably going to cost the most. It's probably going to fetch the most. In regards to um, today's news from my phone, today's question is going to be: What item of movie memorabilia would you like to see auctioned off, or would you buy? Alright, leave your comments in the section below. If you want to contribute to the show, just put, just click on this box here and it will take you straight to the mess YouTube's message service. If you want to subscribe, you know where the button is. But I'm Leo Previs. This is Vent. Make sure you check out the Facebook page as well, while I remember. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.